Imagine going to work and risking your life every day with this thing. It may seem like something only the most daring would do, but what if I told you that this is an actual career? This is snake milking, and it's one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. People with this job are tasked with extracting venom from snakes. Just a single wrong move could end your life, and now you've got the job. Dude, dude, we're pushing it, come on. By the end of the video, we're going to find out what being a snake milker is really like. We'll tell you how to get this job, what your average day would look like, and how much money you'd make. Before we tell you more, do you think that this is the most dangerous job in the world? Do you know a more dangerous one? Let us know in the comments below. So, how much would you make if you were a snake milker? For a job like this, we'd hope you're getting a pretty penny. But first, let's find out how you get the job, and then we'll show what an average day is like. In most cases, to become a professional snake milker, you would need a degree in biology, chemistry, or even herpetology, which is the study of reptiles. After you've racked up some student debt, it's now time to study some snakes. Rattlesnake, python, mamba, these are just some of the deadly snakes you might be dealing with. You can then practice handling some. We recommend the non-venomous kind. It's like a moving piece of spaghetti. By the way, which do you think the most dangerous snake in the world is? Is it a rattlesnake, the king cobra, or the black mamba? The answer is the king cobra. Just a single drop of venom from this snake is enough to kill 20 people and an elephant. And now, you're going to have to extract venom from this reptile along with other deadly creatures. So, what does your average day as a snake milker look like? Well, you'd start at a laboratory that houses thousands of snakes. Naturally, your main task is to begin extracting venom. You'd get the snake out of its storage container with this long hook device. You can do this by yourself or with a partner. This is arguably the riskiest part of the job. Try your best not to get bit. If you do, you could be in some serious trouble. Depending on the venom you're struck with, it could cause blood clots or make you bleed to death. If this were to happen, you'd be another statistic. Up to 130,000 people die every year from snake bites. Hundreds of thousands more need amputations or are permanently disabled from snake venom. That's what makes this job so dangerous. It's not necessarily that snake milkers are dying left and right on the job, but that your co-workers <laughs> might kill you at any moment. Once you gain control of the snake, you grab its head and put its fangs over a glass funnel. After this, you're going to massage the head. Be careful not to hurt the snake, and watch out as it's pretty angry at this point. If you did this correctly, the snake should dispose of some of its venom and you'll see a tiny bit of liquid. Then you repeat this process up to 150 times a week. After you get your venom, you'll freeze dry it and sell it to researchers and hospitals. Although some people criticize snake milking for being rough on the reptiles, extracting this venom saves lives. It'll be used to produce anti-venom. This is life-saving medicine for people who get bit by snakes. It's hugely important in the developing world where snake bites are more common. Snake venom is also used to make drugs that treat high blood pressure, heart attacks, and blood clots. So although this work is dangerous, it's worth the risk. Once the job is done, how much are you getting paid? Well, if you're going to choose this as your career path, you better love it. Unfortunately, due to limited demand and not being the most competitive industry, snake milkers are lucky to make anywhere from 30 to 40,000 a year in the United States. So, does this odd job sound right for you? No? Well, no worries, because we have a lot more listings on our job board. How about being a foley artist or a glass blower? We'll get you hired and put you to work on another episode of Odd Jobs.